Hi, welcome back to Pieces to Our Past. I'm Judy. I'm Haley. And this is Bob. Uh, if you're new to our channel, welcome. Uh, Haley and I are a mother-daughter team and we like to go out thrifting. Um, we collect, we sell, and we like to kind of rescue things from Goodwill, which kind of leads to a little bit of hoarding. Um, we have a Quite a nice haul today. This is all from yesterday. Everything on the table is from yesterday. Um, we went to two Goodwills, a Salvation Army, and the Humane Society. Um, but the Humane Society was a bust. They didn't have anything. So, nothing from there. The first thing is this little teeny tiny scarecrow. Um, he was an afterthought as I was walking down the aisle for the third time at one of the Goodwills. I saw him tucked behind something. Super cute. I picked him up. He is by Sarah's Attic. He is part of the Garden Patches uh, series. And obviously he is the October one. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I paid 99 cents for him. I put him up on eBay last night and he sold within 15 minutes for eight dollars. So he's going to his new home tomorrow. The macrame reindeer. <laughs> oh we went to we went to another place. This was from the Habitat store. Oh yes. We went to the Habitat store and they were having mega sales, which they usually never do. Um but we found this uh with the Christmas stuff. It's a macrame reindeer, and he goes on, he's a door hanger, and he has googly eyes, and he's adorable. <laughs> um, I paid a dollar for him, and uh, turn him around, and he's very nicely made. Um, I think he's got a little bit of age to him, because the, the googly eyes are a little yellowed. Yeah. So... He was either in the sun or he's got a little bit of age to him. But I thought he was adorable. We paid a dollar for him. Um, the next thing we picked up was the uh, Coca-Cola playing cards. Uh, we got this at the Goodwill. I paid a whole dollar for it. Uh, they are from... You put the lid on no, backwards. Oh, no. What? <laughs> no, that's... Uh. Anyway, um, I paid <laughs> I paid a dollar for the tin. Um, the cards are inside. They are all there, including all the jokers. There's two sets of cards. They're still in their boxes. They have been used, but they're still in ex I wouldn't put it very good condition. A couple of them have the corners are creased a little, but they're they're still in in very very good condition. Uh, 1994, and I thought that was a really cool set. A uh, nice gift for the Coca-Cola collector out there. And like I said, I paid a whole dollar for them. Uh, the next thing is the little blue wooden shoes. These are, well, first a little backstory on these. I saw these at the Goodwill two or three weeks ago. They were on the shelf. They were taped together. <coughs> the tape was right over the paint. And these are hand painted. And I was like, if I buy these, as soon as I get them home, when I pull the paint off, the tape is, uh, when I pull the tape off, the paint is going to come with it. So I left them. And I couldn't get these things out of my brain. So I went on eBay to see if they're worth anything. They're not worth a whole hell of a lot because these particular ones are made specifically for souvenirs. Um, they would come tied together with a ribbon, so I'll probably put a pretty ribbon on there um, before I list them on eBay. But I paid $2 for them, and they sell anywhere between $8 and $12. Um, the more intricate painted ones like these tend to go toward the $12 um, end of the scale. And ones that just have like one tulip on it or one flower, they are more the $8. And these are brand new. Um, I think somebody came home from vacation and sent them to Goodwill. 
either that or they lived in a drawer. I don't know because they're really show them the bottoms. The bottoms really nice. So so that's those. In the comments below, let me know if any of you have ever had something haunt you like that. That you see at a thrift store, you don't pick it up, and then you wind up going back specifically for that item. Because I'd like to know that I am not the only one out there doing that. Um, the Little Egg Cup. Um, hubby picked this up at Salvation Army yesterday. Um, it is a... I don't think it's hand painted. I do think it's transfer wear because the two designs are just abs they're they're too similar. It's not showing. I'm not an expert on hand paint versus transfer wear, but just looking at these, I think it's transfer wear, and maybe hand painted over it. I don't know. Anyway, it's got a lot of crazing. It's definitely an older piece. It was made in Sweden, I believe. It looks like. Maybe times were made to look like waddle cobble. Ah. Show them the bottom. It was made in Sweden. Um, I have tried to find if it belongs to a specific dinnerware pattern or something like that, and I haven't been successful. So, um, I pay, well, he paid, It's it was marked 39 cents. It was a yellow tag, so it was 75% off 39 cents. I'm not going to do the math. If anybody wants to do the math, go for it. Let me know. But that's what he paid for it. It's really cute. Um, and egg cups, vintage egg cups like this, singly, can usually sell between 5 and $8 on eBay. So it'll be a nice small profit, but it'll be a good profit. Um, the Limoges serving dish. Heavy. Heavy. Um... Stephen found this at Goodwill yesterday. It was kind of buried under a bunch of other stuff. And he picked it up and he goes, is Limoges good? And I went, depends on the piece. So he showed it to me. And this is in excellent condition. It's dirty. I haven't had a chance to wash this one yet. Um, it is dirty. But it is American Limoges. Um, the name of the scene depicted is Farewell. Um, there you can see it's Triumph, American Limoges, the Farewell, and it is in the Burgundy. Um, the trim is all 22 karat gold. I have found the same bowl, but with that it's not Burgundy, it's all white with just the gold trim. So I have no idea what the comps would be on this. The comps on the white ones were between eight and fifteen dollars so um, I'm thinking this one might be a little bit more rare it might go a little I think I might put this up on auction instead of just a buy it now it's a good piece of advice that um, I've gotten and given over the years is that if you have a piece that you are not sure of the of the value put it up on auction and start your starting bid at what you want to get for it um, I will probably start the starting bid on this at $10. And if it sells for $10, I paid two, I made an $8 profit on it. If it goes above $10, fantastic. If it doesn't sell, then you regroup and you make a new decision. But uh, I don't know the, the worth on this, so I think I'm just going to let it go auction. Uh, and then at the same good, uh, no, at a different Goodwill, um, Somebody, they must have done a clean out of a house of somebody who collected planters. No, it was the same Goodwill. The same one you got. The was it? Yeah. Okay. It was. Um, I found these three vintage planters. They all still have their stickers, which is usually, as you all know, very rare. Um, the first piece are these baby booties. They have the... Um, spaghetti trim. Uh, the porcelain roses on the front are in perfect condition. They have no chips, no breaks, nothing. Um, it's a quite a heavy piece for what it is. If you turn it over, it is by the um, 
Reliable Glassware and Pottery Company Incorporated, and it is dated 1956, which is the year before I was born. So this piece is older than me. Yay, something finally older than me. Um, it says it was designed by designed in Hollywood by Rubens, and uh, it was made in Japan. Um, there are no cracks, no chips, nothing on this. There is crazing, but that's to be expected with the age of the piece. I have crazing, too. <laughs> anyway, um, I just fell in love with this. Um, I was looking at comps on this, and depending upon the... I could not find this exact one, but depending upon the intricacy of the patterns and, and the decorations, rather, um, they can go anywhere from $12 to $25. So I think this may go up on auction, too, because I'm, I'm not sure. This is a little lamb. Little Lammy here has an issue, but that's okay. Um, Little Lamb is in, let me find the information on Little Lamb. Little Lamb is Napco. Um, her sticker actually says a National Pottery Company. It doesn't, it's not the Napco sticker. So I believe that's an earlier sticker. So I'm going to place her about the same time as this one in the 1950s. Um, she's got a very, very light blue tinge to her. But then her hooves and her bow are pink. The inside of her ears are pink. So she could go for either a little boy or a little girl nursery um, planter. Her problem is the back of her bow is broken. Um, you really can't tell from the front. So it is still a very displayable piece. Um, and it's just beautiful. Look at those eyes. Oh, the little eyeballs. And she has her original National Pottery Company sticker. It's on her foot. And Haley wants to show you that. See? Right there. Focus. <laughs> and this was the last planter I found. It's a little teddy bear. And it says, I am a teddy bear. Squeeze me. I talk. If Haley turns it around, you can see that on the back, there was probably some sort of squeezy thing. Um, a squeaker um, and it was glued on there. Unfortunately it's no longer there. But the little teddy bear is adorable anyway. Um, he's a Rubens original. Um, he does have a sticker on the bottom and he was made in Japan and the number 548 is on there. He does have an issue. He has a crack on the side um, but I don't know if the camera can see it. It hasn't messed with his integrity, shall we say. I mean, he's still a very displayable piece. Um, comps on him were between, in perfect condition, were between 15 and 20, 15, 25. Um, I will probably put him up for buy it now for between 10 and 12. I haven't decided yet. But he cleaned up. These were These three planters were filthy. And if you find something like this and it has the original sticker, you can't just dunk it in the sink because you're going to lose the sticker. <laughs> and that's part of the story of the piece. So these all had to be hand done. Um, by the way, if anybody out there likes to collect spaghetti ware, the best way to clean it is with a soft toothbrush and then pat it with um, a rag and you'll get all the dirt and gook out of the little uh, spaghetti pieces. But that's the little teddy bear. I thought he was kind of cute. He is. He's adorable. Okay. Um, the butter dish. As you know, I am all, you all know I'm addicted to butter dishes. Instead of crazy mom, baby gets butter dishes. <sighs> it's true. Anyway. This is a Staffordshire piece made in England. It is Johnson Brothers. The pattern is Arbor. Um, I couldn't find a date on the pattern. Um, I really didn't look that hard, I'll be honest with you. I've been a little, little busy. Um, yeah, I don't see a date. Our horse Lyric, the one that was sick last month, decided to colic again. So we had yeah. to go through the whole thing all over. And if you remember in our last couple of videos we talked about vacation, we had to cancel our vacation because Lyric was sick. Yeah. 
She's still not 100%, so we didn't feel comfortable going on vacation. So hopefully we'll be able to go away for a couple days during the end, at the end of the week. Um, but here it is. Um, Johnson Brothers, made in England. Um, Staffordshire, I love Staffordshire pieces. Um, and that's the butter dish itself. Usually you don't find decoration on the butter dish itself. It's usually just on the lid. And that's one of the things I love about Staffordshire is the, the care that they take with their pieces. I paid $2 for this at the Habitat store. Uh, my husband did find another butter dish. It was a really nice green iron stone stoneware butter dish. But it had two chips on it, which he did not see. I did, though. Chip checker. Um, and the... L oh, um, no, we have two more pieces. The needlepoint. We found this at the... Restore. Habitat yeah. store. Um, it's sealed in a... They had a lot of Christmas. They had a lot of Christmas. They really did. I was shocked. Um, it is a sealed uh, Bucilla, I think you say it, um, needlepoint kit. Everything is inside, as you can see. I could not find a date on it. Um, it is an 18-inch Santa Faces stocking. Um, it's really pretty. I can only imagine what it looks like when it's when it's done. I, I wish I had the patience to do something like that, but I don't. So that, that should sell well, especially this time of year. Um, we sell a lot of needlepoint, um, a lot of needle artwork, art, uh, ah, kits. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, anyway, so, um, unfortunately I, th I was hoping I would find more, but this was the only one I found because I will not buy them unless they are sealed. They have to be sealed so you know that everything is in there. So that was really cool to find. And the last thing, my husband found this at Salvation Army. Um, it was also a yellow tag. It was marked a dollar and it was 75% off so he paid a quarter. It is a hand painted Nippon sugar jar, a sugar bowl. I thought this one was marked like seven dollars. No. There was one thing he got that was seven. Yeah, I didn't show that one. Oh, okay. Um, it's beautiful. Um, it's in perfect condition. There are no chips, cracks, nothing on this. Um, it's really show show them that. Yeah, look at that. It's so pretty. <laughs> it wants to focus on you. Yes, I know. <laughs> Um, so he was all proud of himself when he found this. And there's the back. And show him the bottom. And here's the bottom. So. Um, so that was our haul from yesterday. Um, what is today? Sunday. Sunday. Today is Sunday. Yay, Sunday. Um, yes, so. Sunday. Um, if you see anything that you like, um, it should all be up on eBay by tonight, if I can. <laughs> um, with everything that's been going on with the horse, Haley and I kind of crashed today. Yeah. I got up early this morning and I did some cleaning of the stuff that I wanted to put into the video. And then I went right back to bed and I slept for another three hours. And Haley got up and went out and fed and, um did what she had to do with Lyric, and she came in, and she crashed, and she, I didn't wake her up until 12 o'clock, so yeah. um, it's been a lazy day for us so far. But anyway, that's our video today. Um, in the description below, you will find links to our eBay store, and you will also find links to our Facebook page, our Facebook group, uh, Pieces to Our Past. I have neglected our Facebook group, and I am so Again. sorry. I really have, but I am working on a special sale for the Facebook group um, that hopefully will be up today. Um, I put up special sales there that are only, uh, the only people eligible for those specials are the people that are um, signed up on my Facebook group. 
and we've done mugs for four dollars we've done ceramic pieces for five dollars we've done um just a bunch of different things for like five dollars so we do have some pretty good sales up there um and i appreciate everybody taking advantage of it because with the new vet bills i have from the horse for this this last round of colic <laughs> i'm thinking about starting a gofundme account i'm only kidding i would never do that she's a brat <laughs> Me or the horse? The horse. Oh, the horse. Um, anyway, so uh, check out our Facebook group. Check out our eBay store. And if you like what you see, let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to see something different, let us know in the comments below. I know one of our subscribers, Jess, had asked us if we could do a video on uh, depression glass, which we will be doing. Um, as we, as a matter of fact, it was on the schedule <laughs> to get done after vacation, but, um, it's probably going to get popped back another week. So, um, but we will pull out some of the depression glass we have and we'll talk a little bit about it. I am not a depression glass expert by no, any means. You just have a whole lot of it. But I have been doing my research. So, so anyway, let me get out of here before it goes way too long. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and ding that bell for notifications of our videos. Perfect. And um, we'll see you real soon. Bye. Toodles.